I've never had a car put so much smiles on my face, dude. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do before we start this video, this is an intro to the intro. Oh, man, I'm just, I can't help it. Map four, this gas just gets guzzled, dude. <laughs> it's awesome. We need to start screen recording the JB4 more so you guys can pay attention to the AFR boost and ignition, timing, all that stuff. You guys gotta start learning this stuff. You send me a ton of messages asking me about this stuff all the time. And I'm gonna continue to refer you to the N54 tech form that explains a lot of that. Dude, these twin turbos are banging. My smiles. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Nick with Twin Turbo. Today I'm doing a video on the wind booster. Now I've had the wind booster on here for a couple months now. It was gifted to me by Kato the Stinger, so I want to go ahead and get that out there first. I am not affiliated with Wind Booster in any way. This is a video I'm making for you guys, okay? It's already been installed on my car, but I need to remove the tux mat down there and uh, show you guys how to install it. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. You can do it in a parking lot. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver to pop off some plates to get to two 10 millimeter bolt. Once you do that, you just unplug it and that's it. Plug and play. Put it back in. You can hide the wires. You'll never know you have it. Wind Booster actually has a proprietary app, and uh, I'll screen record that as well, and we'll throw that up on the screen. Oh, yeah. I also have a 20% discount code that Cato gave me. I'll pop that up here in the video sometime. Make sure you guys use that. I'll link everything in the description below. All right, guys. So, what is the Wind Booster? You may be asking yourself. It's a throttle tune, okay? This thing isn't adding any horsepower to the car whatsoever. It's not a TCU tune. It's not an ECU tune. It is simply just a throttle tune, okay? Now, Burger Motorsports sells one. That one, I kind of like the concept. When you install it, you have to calibrate it by doing a series of gas pedal movements with that device so i do like that this doesn't have that not saying that's a good or a bad thing i really don't know only time will tell because if something goes wrong with this thing i'm going to be the first one to make a youtube video don't worry so far i'm leaving it i'm going to leave it on the car i actually like the product yeah it's doing a good job so we are going to go ahead and pull up into the park it's a beautiful day out here in the midwest and of course you know we're going to do a couple pulls of course so stay tuned. All right, guys, just came out to the woods real quick. Freaking beautiful here. There's like nobody around. Came across this teepee. Is there someone in here? The ball. I don't see that every day. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty neat. Whoever made this, it's like another one over there. But anyways, guys, so in here is one of the sickest bike trails ever. So comment down below if you guys want me to upload some e-bike content onto this channel. You can like ride all over this park. It's acres and acres and acres of just open land. There's a lot of dry, flat grass too. And that e-bike goes 30 miles an hour. So off-road, it's actually pretty lit. I had a boosted board. I kind of want to get another one. I almost killed myself on the boosted board, like literally. I still rode it, but then, I don't know. I have a daughter, so I got to be somewhat careful, right? Boosted board is sick though that thing went like 20 something miles an hour and on a board that's insane let me tell you kia stinger is over there yeah so i'm going to be coming up with some fire i want to do a dyno vid i want to start doing more pov videos you guys kind of been asking for those i think that'd be sick and uh we got to get to the track i need to get to the uh, track to do some quarter mile pulls i'm going to do some more draggy videos explaining the draggy import face off is coming up april 24th in hebron ohio if you guys can make it some of you guys can make it that would be lit i'll be there we'll be making a youtube video just all kinds of car stuff if you're a car enthusiast it's actually a pretty cool event from what i've seen i'm gonna get some sick pictures of the stinger right now since I have some clouds overhead and get some b-roll. piece right here that pops out right there okay pull that out of course you want to make sure that the car's off i leave it off for a few minutes let the ecu fall asleep but that's just me uh we're going to take our 10 mil socket boom 
Okay guys, so the pedal removes very easy on here. So on this clip right here, dude, I know it looks really, really weird. This, do not push it in, okay? You will break it. On the other side up here, you just push in on that. Hold on, Ugh, got it. Pedal's free. Basically, I'm just reinstalling it for you guys. So this right here is the factory connector that connects into the gas pedal, okay? So this is how your car comes, right here. Once you do that, you're gonna take the wind booster here and you're going to connect it to the factory harness, okay? Really easy, right? And then you're gonna connect that to your pedal. All right, so yeah, so then after you connect the wind booster to the factory harness there, you're gonna follow this, come down here, obviously connect this. Then all you will have is the wind booster. Now the wind booster has like this iPhone looking adapter, kind of like a lightning cable and that plugs in to the side here. I don't tape this to anything. I don't use this, okay? I'm not gonna use this because WindBooster has a proprietary app that I'm going to open and show you guys how it works. So this, you know, is the computer essentially. We're just hiding it. We're gonna access all of the options through their app and make sure this doesn't come unplugged. Be very gentle here. Double check that it's tight, right? Let's go ahead and get our pedal plugged back in. Make sure it clicks. There's a bolt. Okay, perfect. We'll worry about tucking all this here in a second. For the sake of this video, let's go ahead and put these bolts and stuff back on. These are both 10 mil bolts, by the way. Okay, we're tight. All right, guys, so the wind booster is connected. So remember, there's two. Guys, if you're going to be sticking something random in here, uh, the first time these come out, they're a little tough. This one, I didn't have any issues, but this one, I remember I put something in there and I was like, prying it and that piece flew up back here underneath the dash. Luckily I got it out, but just be careful. Put your hand over it and then pop it out or something. All right, so the wind booster is connected. Let's go ahead and start the car. All right guys, so that's the wind booster. You're gonna have uh, your modes right here. This is gonna be your mode button, sport, sport plus, race, drag, I auto, valet, a slip eco normal and then sport like where i was at so this thing is pretty cool in itself just for this because if you don't have the jb4 you could just get this put your car in valet mode and if someone goes to drive your car you know they're not going to be tearing the shit out of it right so that's kind of cool like i said i just leave mine in sport number six that's where mine just stays at so what i'm going to do now is just tuck this back and i'll show you the app real quick it's super super easy to use Make sure that uh, none of your connections come undone, guys. I'm gonna pull this carpet back just a tad. Okay, let's just tuck this back there. So there we go. All tucked away, nice and clean. I love how this tucks behind here. It keeps it really tight. This thing is so firm. I love these mats, guys. I made a video about these on installing them and everything. It's super easy. Looks amazing. These are made by Tux Mat. I'll link them down in the description below. All right, guys. So let me show you really quick here how the Wind Booster app works. Start the car. So I'm going to go to Wind Booster, proprietary app. You guys are going to have to download that on the App Store. Okay, and then as you can see on the bottom here, guys, we have uh, sport mode, sport plus, race, drag. Uh, race and drag are insane. I, <laughs> it's not really a daily driving option, to be honest with you. It is more of like a novelty. It's, it's funny, it's fun. Um, but if you have a TCU and you have to monitor your boost when you're building it, that seems a little dangerous to me. But it is fun, it's worth a shot. There's anti-slip, which is useful right if you have rear wheel drive especially when it's raining or in the snow i heard that's useful um and again like i mentioned earlier valet mode i think that's awesome in and of itself i would probably buy this product just for that even if i had no mods just because people know what this car is and that prevents them from you know doing anything crazy in your car but uh you know on the way home i'll see if i can do i'm gonna have to make some more videos so actually you know what Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it, but I'm gonna make some videos on normal versus sport versus sport plus. Maybe I'll get the draggy involved and stuff like that. But uh, again, sport, I'm gonna put mine in number uh, five. 
five sport i'm just gonna leave it set it and forget it that's it proprietary app super easy to use if you guys have any questions on this product or if I missed anything, make sure you drop a link down below. The uh, carbon fiber phone case, make sure you guys check that video out. 150 likes is all it takes. Leave a comment and I'll pick you from the comment section. It's worth a hundred bucks, pretty sick. Oh, and uh, my key premium just updated the uh, discount code for you guys, Twin Turbo. I'll put, you have to use the link in this video below if you are interested, but it's 10% off now. Pretty sick. Oh, Twin Turbo. Got to use the link below. So check that out. That thing's been working great as well. I need to make more videos on that. And stay tuned. DRLs and side splitters coming this weekend. Dude, the MBRP is amazing. So having a hatchback, you know, has advantages. Like in car audio, the sound pressure level is higher. It's reflecting off that back hatch and it's flying up to the front, right? And then bouncing off the window and hitting you. That's why hatches are louder. Same with exhaust for the exhaust drone, okay? It's going to be a little louder, of course, but the MBRP nails the exhaust note in this car. I'll link it down below, all around best daily. And then you have options to always make it louder if you want with downpipe. I'm a little torn on those because once you do that, you start getting that notorious V6 rasp tone, which I'm not a fan of. You know, it's not a V8, but it does feathering it just you just feather it yeah so anyways guys mbrp sick but uh yeah keep that in mind if you guys are always i always get asked about my exhaust and i have a bunch of videos on them getting the gurgles getting uh, cameras on the outside you can really hear it and get a uh, feel for how this exhaust is going to sound so i encourage you guys to check those out stuff over here so if you're hearing rattles actually the seats rattling again too <laughs> that wasn't the seat but how much boost was that yeah, so I, I really, guys, I'm having a trouble like finding a spot to do wide open pulls, but map four usually hits around 22 pounds consistently, not 20.6, that's usually map three for me. <laughs> I just don't have any room, dude. Down here in Mexico. We'll get another pull in, don't worry. Hopefully, I'm almost home. What was that? Oh my goodness. She's screaming though. She feels good. I'll have to go back and see what the AFR was, but hopefully it was around 12. That's it guys. I will catch you on the next video. All right, guys, looks like they finally came. So we got the CK-71s. This is how they come in the box. Packaged up pretty nice. There's the other one. And then we have these wire taps here. And uh, it says if you have any questions, you can like text, email, or call. So that's pretty cool. Made here in America. Yeah, and overall, the quality actually feels really good. Like solid plastic. It's not like flimsy. And this harness and the cable, also nice. So look forward to getting these installed, man. Coming soon.
Bye.